Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the next bout of the afternoon. The following is an amateur K1 bout. Introducing first, the Red Corner fighting out of the British Combat Academy, James Cornell. And introducing his opponent, who will be in the blue corner, Kai Oldham. Amateur K1 bout introducing first the red corner fighting out of the British Combat Academy, James Corner. <laughs> and introducing his opponent in the blue corner, Kai Alder. James Cornell, British Combat Academy in the red corner, Kai Oldham in the blue. Three rounds of K1 action, Kai the Powers Mac boxer, black shorts, the longer shorts with the white trim, James Cornell the slightly taller of the two young men. From the British Release. Combat Academy. Box. Southpaw stands for James. Pushing forward, but he pushes forward into the right hand from Kai, who timed it nicely as he came in. It's James looking to force the issue, coming forward. Kai fighting on the back foot. Good shots, though, there from James. He kept coming forward. And kept firing the hands, and Kai forced to take the count. He's looking at the referee, Mike. He's saying, I'm okay, he's waiting, he's going to come forward, he's saying he's all right. But it was the sheer volume of punches from James that forced that knockdown, and that left hand landed cleanly again. Oh, he took that left leg well. He's a tough customer, Kai, and he's firing back because that left leg landed cleanly as James stepped in. What a chin, Kai. Took that shin and fired back, saved himself another count, but he's getting a lot of shots taken here in this opening round from the accuracy of James Cornell. Kai Oldham, though, guts in again, has to take that shot, slips the next one, looks to fire back, but he's under real pressure in this opening round. So Kai, proven his durability, proven his chin, but he's under pressure from the all-action style of James Cornell. But what I like about James is its fluid, flowing technique. It's accurate and it's varied, and that's causing the problems for Kai. Hands and feet, but look at Kai. Comes straight back with the right hand. What a great opening round. Despite the knockdown, it's been competitive. But there again, for me, James, good opening round there. Got the count as well. Kai, what a chin, stayed in in the center of the ring with his man wherever possible and looked to fire back made it as competitive as he could against a very tough technical opponent and here we are the midway point round two and both young men kick at the same time and they fire the shots Kai again staying in the pocket this is what I said despite what he's taken from his opponent he's happy to stand and trade in the pocket and look for his own shots that's guts and again, James looking to assert his authority, but Kai moves around him again, tucks up tight, looks for his own kick, and then his right hand pushing forward and lands with the left. James turns nicely and throws that left leg high, stalking his man. Kai steps in, but this time it's the right leg of James, very leggy. The young man from the British Combat Academy. And again, that lead leg just snaps up to the face of Kai. As he retains centre ring here. And Kai forced to take pressure again before stepping forward quickly. Throws that southpaw jab, James. Nice right hand there from Kai as James came forward. But James working to the body 
Kai responds immediately and he needs to respond like that consistently to keep James at bay because James is very accurate and he's got those excellent kicks. He just brings the leg up without any back lift, especially that lead leg. And looking to keep Kai under pressure once more. Doubles up that right leg. There's that high kick that he brings up so easily. Does it again. Kai takes it and a nice little left hook in reply. But a solid body shot with the leg. Turns his man. Last 10 seconds of the second round. Oh, high head kick lands super cleanly. But look at Kai, he took that and fires back. James Cornell impressed with this young man's technique, especially the way he delivers those kicks accurately and hurtful. Kai took a full-blooded roundhouse to the face at the end of the round. Look at him still listening to his corner. Not upset by it. What a tough customer. But he needs a big, big third round here. Because James Cornell overall has been in control. Oh, doubles up that left and then brings that right leg up, doubling it up to the head. Fast-paced start from Cornell. But Kai Oldham has not stopped looking for his own shots, not stopped looking to get in and land that one shot that might turn this around for him. But I've been impressed with Cornell, the young man from the British Combat Academy. Fluid technique. Working well and pushing Kai back into the corner. Kai responds again. What a chin this young man's got. You can teach many things. You can't teach heart. You can't teach durability. You've got to want it. And that's what this young man has proven tonight. Some of the techniques he's been caught with are stoppers. And yet here he is still looking to come back. On another night, you feel that James might have had a stoppage as early as the first round here, but not tonight against Kai Oldham, who stuck with him. And turns again, takes the left hook, backs up, feeling the pace. I think Kai's been under pressure for a lot of it. And again, takes those heavy body shots. Shows no sign of throwing in the towel here, despite that solid knee now from James. And I think Kai is finally feeling the pace as James, yes, and finally, Finally, it happens. The second knee takes him to the canvas. It'd be a real shame if he stopped now. I hope he gets up and continues. He deserves to finish this bag. Mike's looking closely at him. He's giving him every opportunity. He's a great referee. He knows there's only 10 seconds left. And you really feel for Kai. You want him to finish this bag. But it's going to be a big, big win for James here. Yes, excellent bag. And I can confirm that the winner of this contest is the Red Corner, James Cornell. Yes, a dominant performance from James Cornell.